Have you been told that your thyroid lab tests look perfect or that they look completely normal and yet you still have all of the symptoms of hypothyroidism? I'm Dr. Childs. Let's talk about the difference between optimal and normal thyroid lab tests. I've heard the same story about a thousand times. Thyroid patients go into their doctor, they ask them to order all of the right thyroid lab tests, they get the results back, only to be told that their thyroid is completely normal and that whatever they're experiencing must be due to something else because it can't be their thyroid. So what causes this problem? In many cases, it can be explained simply by looking at how your doctor is evaluating your thyroid lab tests. Most of the time, doctors are looking at what's called the standard reference range. They're not looking at what I refer to as the optimal reference range. Let me bring out the whiteboard to show you what I'm talking about. What you're looking at is the reference range for the TSH, which is the most common thyroid lab test that thyroid patients get when their th doctor is evaluating their thyroid. But this, we're gonna be talking about TSH, but this applies to all thyroid lab tests. Now, when I say the normal reference range, this is what I'm talking about. If you look at the uh, reference range provided by the lab company, you will see that it's usually 0.5 to 4.5. So if you fall anywhere between these two values, your doctor will tell you that it's normal. This including, by the way, could be 4.4. So if you've got a lab test with a TSH of 4.4, even though it's barely normal, your doctor will say, hey, you're normal. Optimal thyroid lab tests are a little bit different. What we're doing is we're saying, hey, within this range of 0.5 to 4.5, this is the normal range, there must be an optimal range in which thyroid patients live who are healthy. And the range for this is usually between 0.5 and 1.0. So we're taking the broad range, which is the normal range, and we're comparing you to the optimal range, which is a more narrow range, right? So instead of be being between 0.5 and 4.5, what we're saying is if you wanna be healthy, you need to be, be between 0.5 and 1.0. And this represents the optimal range. This concept applies to all thyroid lab tests. The example I showed you was specific to TSH, but there are optimal ranges for free T3, free T4, reverse T3, and even thyroid antibodies. And when you start to look at yourself in the context of what is optimal and what is healthy versus what is normal, a lot of the questions that you've been having about your thyroid will be made clear. Intuitively, this should make sense. When you get your thyroid labs tested, you wanna compare yourself to a healthy control of someone who is your age but doesn't have thyroid problems. And then you wanna try and mimic that person's thyroid lab tests. But the reference ranges provided by the lab companies are based off of population studies, and they include people of all ages and all medical conditions. Here are the rest of those optimal thyroid lab tests I was talking about. And you can also get a free download on my website if you wanna get a PDF document which teaches you how to calculate these on your own.